Welcome back to the Hell the Trail. Race 5, Moto 1. Let's go racing. On the 854, that's my buddy Eric Loney. He's pretty dang quick. Ian Hamilton on number 19 gets a good jump off the bat. On the Yamaha, number 56 is uh, Larry Laguerra. Looks like he's easily going to take third. 728, Dominic Mann. That kid is hard to pass. Looks like these guys already got my camera dirty, so that's super. And if I had any skills, I'd uh, reach up and wipe it clean for y'all, but definitely need both hands on the bars. This start for me is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. All these guys ride in the master's class, and they're pretty darn quick. I haven't been on my bike in uh, over a month, so I'm a bit rusty. Practice didn't go all that great for me. I wasn't clearing any of the jumps. All these guys in front of me are in their 50s or older. All I gotta say about that is that's freaking badass. Goes to show you just gotta keep moving no matter your age. At this moment I'm uh, building quite the confidence being able to keep up with Larry like this. Ah, that hurt. After this race day, my ankles were definitely hurting. If you remember from my last video, my suspension seized up and my chain came off my bike. Obviously since then I've fixed all the deficiencies in my dirt bike, but unfortunately in getting the bearings out of the dog bone, I screwed that dog bone up and had to put on my lowering link off of my CRF 250. And the suspension is not dialed. That is for darn sure. I've since then purchased a uh, stock dog bone and I'll be throwing that guy back in and hopefully I'll get the suspension dialed again and hopefully I'll get some ride time on it before my next race. I felt like I was uh, doing pretty darn good in that section there, able to make a, some uh, time with Larry. But coincidentally, the thing I'm normally good at is the jumps I was not feeling comfy on. Larry railed that corner, really got a gap on me. Since today it's not raining, I went ahead and wore my red, white, and blue Constitution gear from True MX. I think it looks pretty sick. America! My conditioning regiment has actually improved quite a bit got a jiu-jitsu tournament coming up so I've been uh, trying to get in better cardiovascular shape and it definitely helped me out in this series of racing. I did not get tired although I did get some forearm pump but not during this race. This section right here was actually sort of difficult <laughs> which seems strange because it's just a straight line but Maybe it's because you're going so fast and there's some soft spots that created some ruts. Woodland MX Park did a fantastic job with this track. I think it's my favorite thus far that I've raced on at this location. Tons of great opportunities for passing. Seemed like everybody I talked to really enjoyed this track. Hopefully uh, Larry slows down here a little bit and lets me pass him. Uh, he's not a kind of guy that just give you a spot though, so going to have to earn it. Oh, he's leaving it open a little bit. Let's go. Oh, he saw, saw me there at the last second. Glad he didn't T-bone me. Oh, yep. Yeah, coming up short again. All right, see if I can make this guy stick. Looks like Hamilton's uh, right there on number 19. Let's see if I can catch up to him. I've actually never even been able to catch up to him, so I'm, I'm pretty stoked that I'm, I'm right here with him. Uh, right here with him means, you know, I could actually see him. We're on the same section of track. Speaking of that, where's Eric Loney? I think Eric just checked out. He ain't playing. Nothing like the spirit of competition to make you push yourself. Roller to double. I was not sending that in practice, but trying to catch up to Hamilton. You gotta do what you gotta do. 
Unfortunately, I didn't get that clean very frequently, and landing on my ankles with this lowering link uh, didn't provide very much cushion. Right here is where I end up tweaking my left knee. That will take a few days to recover. Unfortunately, that's my good knee. I've had four knee surgeries on my right knee. I like to keep my good knee good. I need to stop being lazy and, and get my leg higher. I'm wondering if I have to hit that tabletop at 50 miles an hour in order to clear that dang thing. It's crazy. Please help out my small channel by hitting the subscribe button and smashing that like button. Just send it! Check out the other videos in this playlist. Until next time, remember, pre-ride, re-ride, free ride. Now get out, ride your bike. Better. Yeah. Twisted my knee a little bit though.